no clue what video this is gonna be in, what part of anything, anyway. I dyed my hair gingery-ish and got gingery-ish braids. Yeah, anyway, gone with the white hair. Anyway, I'm working on the sweater gift that I've been working on for the past month now. Yeah, so now I'm doing the duplicate stitch part of it. I'm gonna be using Drops Lima for it. It is a wool and alpaca blend. And I'm hoping that all I have to use is this one ball so I could keep the rest because I bought like mm, 10 balls or something like that. And I wanna use the rest for like a slipover or something or maybe, yeah, maybe a slipover. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna start on it. Let me show you what I have mapped out so that I know the grid that I'll be working in for this tapestry. Tapestry. I keep calling it tapestry because crochet is tapestry crochet for this duplicate stitch picture that I'll be making. Alrighty, this is what I have mapped out using stitch markers. Ignore all the white fuzzies on it. It's from <laughs> putting this yarn on it. But yeah, this is the grid that I have mapped out. So the picture will be inside this square here. And this is like the end of the sweater. So the picture is really in kind of the upper part, not really center, not really like the center center of the entire sweater, but just like the top part of the sweater. So I think this is going to be super cool. I'm going to start on it now and see how it turns out so the next update will literally be with stuff on it so let's get started <laughs> It is like 11 a.m. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because today my sisters and I and my mom are going to a concert. It's just a little summer kickoff concert. I think it starts the leg of five seconds of summer's tour or something like that. But we're going because Charlie Booth is going to be there. We love Charlie Booth. So we're going to go and watch him for his set. But also, you know, five SOS isn't bad. I didn't listen to them when I was younger because I was obsessed with One Direction, but I have heard a few of their songs and you know, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna enjoy it anyway because I love music and I don't care what's playing. I'm just gonna be jamming anyway, but this isn't just a normal vlog. You guys know, it doesn't matter where I go. I always have to bring my knitting. So let me show you what I'm bringing. Okay, first, I'm going with this clear bag here because I looked on Amazon. You, When you go to a concert, you have to have like a certain measurement for a bag or whatever. So I bought this bag, it said concert approved. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, perfect. Anyway, but what I am bringing is this new project that I started two days ago. I'm gonna be doing a vlog on this. So this, I mean a vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a project video on this project so I won't like go deep into it but I'm going to be bringing this this is going to be the Stockholm Slipover by Petite Knit and I'm using my metal liquor needles the Cypher needles oh, they're so good they're just so nice anyway I was like I want to use some metal needles but this is all that I have so far and since I'm just doing plain stockinette for a certain amount of rows I'm like this will be a perfect project to bring. It's small. I can just like knit, 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 whatever. I'm using Drops Lima. But also, since we're going, I know the camera is like cutting my head off, but that's on purpose because I don't feel like putting my head in a frame. But anyway, since we are going super early, it's in San Diego. So it's like an hour and a half away from where I live. So we're going to go to San Diego at like 12. The concert starts at 6 30. yeah we're going super early so i'm going to bring this project back to bring in the vehicle 
and what it has are stitch holders because if I get to a point where I need to break off the yarn and stuff I need to have stitch holders and I'm bringing two extra skeins of yarn also I'm bringing stitch markers just in case okay I don't know how far I'll get in this project I'm bringing a tapestry needle a measuring tape and I'm bringing <laughs> literally just one singular stitch marker that's different from the other stitch markers only because only because if I need a beginning of round marker I want to be able to differentiate from these stitch markers and this one so this will be a beginning of round marker if I ever get to the point where I start in a round for the slipover right right and is that all oh and scissors of course this is not going into the concert with me this is literally a backup bag or if I get far in the project I'll be knitting the entire car ride so an hour and a half of work who knows how far I can get into the project but I just want to be prepared so that I don't end up being bored and not having anything to do because I always need something to do with my hands always always so knitting is perfect but yeah so that's the project that I'm going with I'm putting it in this bag I have my row counter in here because I do have to count my rows I have my keys and then this I don't know what else I'll be putting in here maybe my airpods or something lip lip balm but I think that's about it so that's what I will be going with if I add anything else, I'll just let you guys know. And this will be in the vehicle because we'll be spending a lot of time there. So we'll just see if I do need these. I'll let you guys know. But Kahila is already ready. Already did it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's already ready. My outfit is literally right there, but I don't feel like getting ready until literally the last minute so that I don't spend any extra time in my will. outfit. Oh, wait. Or what? Meant extra spend extra time on no i don't want to spend extra time in my outfit just sitting yeah. for like an hour or something <gasps> whoa your you legs look so are long, long right yeah, look you guys can you see that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that is what is happening so i guess what time is it it's still 11 18 so <laughs> we're leaving at 12 i will get ready at like 11 30. so I will do that and I will update you guys a little later by oh Bye. will I bring my camera should I bring my camera I just film on my phone just film on your phone yeah just in case yeah so oh, yeah anything after this will be on my phone bye bye <laughs>
Hey guys, we have made it to San Diego and on the way here, I realize I've never been to San Diego. I always assume I have because it's like still Southern California, but we haven't. And here we are, we are waiting to park because the parking thing doesn't open up until like three and we got here at like 2.30, but it's like 2.43 now. So not a long wait. And I'm at a point in my project right now where I'm going to need to cut the yarn soon, but I can't bring scissors into the venue. So I'm just going to have to like use my hands and just like tear it apart or something. And hopefully it works. So yeah, either way, I'm excited to go in there. We're going to wait. People are already waiting in line. The line isn't long yet. So hopefully by the time, oh my gosh, security is literally like running past. We're like, what? What is happening? Anyway, so hopefully the line doesn't get too long, but it's more what security. What the heck? Look, another one. Another. What in the world? Anyway, hopefully the line doesn't get too long by the time we park and stuff, but we need to find a place to use the bathroom because that is what I don't know. Anyway, update you guys later. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My man? Hey, let me get you. <laughs> Are you gonna smile? You saw his face? Yeah. <laughs> Not just see him right now. Bam! Bam! presented by SDCCU. Are you ready to see
next day. That concert was so much fun. We left right after Charlie because we only came to see him. Even though the headliners were five seconds of summer, we weren't there to see them. So after Charlie performed all however thousand of his songs, I'm sad because you know it's not his, it wasn't his concert so he didn't sing the songs that I would want to hear from his album he only sang like his popular singles and stuff because that's what the general public knows of him but like <laughs> he has so much better music than his singles I think a lot of the songs from his albums that aren't the singles are better than the singles but that's my opinion anyway it was so much fun. You guys saw all the clips and stuff. We were just jamming. We we're jamming to everyone. Like, I forgot where I was at. I was interrupted. But yeah, it was so great. We got so many compliments on our outfits. We handed out many cards. Well, like, handed out many cards. Yeah. And it was just, it was so awesome. That was my first concert. That was the first concert. No, uh, that's the first concert I've ever been to. And it was so perfect. And it was Charlie's first time performing for two years, you know, since COVID and all of that. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's special. But anyway, now that that's over, I'm going to be spending all day working on this. I realized that I can just combine this vlog with a random vlog I was filming of this. So here's a continuation. That means I would have put the clips of this before the concert clips. So you guys already know about this. I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be continuing this. This is my, my grid, you guys know. That's all I have so far because I haven't worked on it since the last time I worked on it. But I'm excited because I love making pictures and it's just gonna be so great. So we will see how things go. I think that's all for the updates. I'm just so happy that we went to that concert. It was so fun. Sorry, five seconds of summer. I don't listen to your music. That's it. picture is coming along so nicely i'm so freaking excited look at how 3d this looks like it's insane and then you get close and it's like stitches and it's so stiff oh my gosh i cannot wait to block this it's gonna look amazing but i am almost done i just have like this portion done and i got this portion and then that done today and i finished this portion and like this section last night so i'm so excited but yeah i just have the head it's it's a dragon forming a c because if you watch grand theft auto gta 5 roleplay if you know chain gang then you know or if you know you know so that's what i'm making the i'm like i'm making the logo and if you know what the logo looks like then you know what it's going to turn out like but anyway this is just so awesome oh my this is the mouth this is the tail Ah, this looks so cool. I'm so proud. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and see how much I can finish because it's like mm, 529 right now. So we'll see how far I can get tonight.
Alrighty, I have finished the entire sweater. This is what it looks like. It's a little stiff here, but it's fine because I'm gonna block it. Well, not block it. I say blocking like when I go to hand wash it, but I'm gonna hand wash it. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't believe this is how I came out. So this is how long it is. I made the large. Remember, this is the Hans Tom sweater or Hans Tom. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a size large and it's going to black out even bigger because this is super wash yarn. But just a little close up. I don't want to get too close. I still have to like lint roll it. I got like a <laughs> I got like a shaver thingy to just shave it just in case there's like extra fabric and stuff but you know the white yarn really got all over this but this just looks so freaking cool i cannot believe i did that by hand like i did this by hand okay every single part of this sweater oh so awesome anyway i'm going to lint roll it i'm gonna shave it down a little bit block it hand wash it and be done with it i do not want to do that again like not make a gift i don't mind making a gift i don't want to do duplicate stitch i'm tired of hand sewing pictures okay like my wrist is tired anyway that was like my last whip that i felt like i needed to get out the way and i'm so happy with how it turned out it took so long but it was so worth it and i can't wait to give it to the person who's receiving it so is that all for this video oh my gosh this is the end of the video hold up i might feel like i have more to do let me sit on this that is all for this video i don't know how long it is because i'm adding in the concert clips and everything but thank you guys so much for watching this video i will be recording a podcast sometime in the next couple weeks i think in two weeks so at the end of this month i will make a podcast i haven't done one in a while mainly because i feel like i haven't really had anything to update you guys on like i literally got nothing done in the month of may i just had a bunch of whips and i really want to show finished projects but yeah that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching as i said already remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up share if you want other people to watch me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye